Hey there folks, how's it going? So I thought I would do something a little bit different today. I thought I would do a little tutorial video. Now, I store my rendered uh, YouTube videos, the final rendered video, on a hard drive, on a storage drive I have in my computer. It's three terabytes, and it's kind of my main storage drive. Now, for anybody who archives videos, YouTube, or streams, or anything else, you know that that's not something that you can do forever, right? Eventually, you're going to run out of space. Well, one way to kind of stave that off is to compress your videos. Now, you don't want to lose quality, or at least not a lot of quality, but there is a good way to do this where you can save a good chunk of your space without really much noticeable loss in quality, and I'm going to show you that today. Now, what we need to do first is we need to launch a program called Handbrake. It's a free program. It's probably the best free video converter that's out there. I'm going to launch that right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a whole folder at once. Now, you can do one, fo one file. You just click single file right here. So the settings and everything are the same. So I'm just going to show you with a uh, folder, batch scan right here. So we're going to click this. And what we want to do is we want to select a whole folder. Now, we've already on this is my gameplay folder. This is where I store my backed up gameplay files that I've rendered. You see, I've, I've got a whole lot of videos. I don't even have all of them on here. I just have a good many of them. But we're going to do the Diablo videos, and the reason we're going to do the Diablo videos is because there's a lot of videos, and they're taking up a lot of space. I'll show you that in just a moment. So we're going to click the folder we want to do, and we're going to select folder, and we got to wait for just a second here. It's going to scan all of the video files, which you see there's 22 in there. That's correct. But like I said, if you just want to do one file, and I would recommend that you do one just to kind of test this out, see the quality settings... You know, see what you want to use, what settings you want to use. You can do a few different encodes or different settings to kind of compare. I'm going to give you the settings that I use. But, you know, if you want to look up, you know, try different settings, you want to look stuff up, I'm going to use a preset that I've made here. I'll show you how to save one of those. So what I do is, this is what I do. Now, this might not be best for you, but I find it works really well for me. You see, I mean, this is one of the older, semi-older videos. So you see, I do way more. So I've lost some weight since then. I'm doing all right. I'm getting there. Okay, whatever. But I check web optimized. This right here, line AV start. That's checked by default. We'll leave that. Dimensions, I leave it alone. I don't want to. I don't want to mess with the dimensions. I want to be. I want it to be 1920 by 1080. If you wanted this to be lower, if you're recording 1080p videos, but you want to encode it down to 720p, that would save even more space. We're gonna leave it right there. I'm gonna go over to the video tab here. Now these are the settings that you want to pay attention to. There's a bunch of different settings here. I set constant frame rate. I don't want the frame rate fluctuating. This this should be whatever your frame rate is. Mine are recorded at 60 FPS. I check constant quality here, and I set it to 20. Now, there's a difference between these two right here. If I set this down here, it would be average kilobits per second. Now, you could set a lower number than what your videos are recorded in, and you could do it that way, but I'm just doing it this way. So this basically lets you say this is the quality I want the videos to be. And the more you slide this to the left, the lower quality they'll be. So you could potentially save more space than what I'm showing you how to do here. If you just lower this a little bit, like I'm doing, I like 20. I'm going to leave it at 20. If I can get it over there, there we go. If you if you went down to like maybe 22, 24, 25, you know, you could try this out. Like I said, do a few in coach. Try it. Try it with my settings. Try it, try it with something else. But that's fine. So I'm just going to do this. Constant quality, 20. I'm going to leave audio alone. It sets it to this by default. At least for me, it does. 160 is fine. Stereo, fine. All that's fine. If you're a surround or anything, you want to change that. But basically, what we want to do is here. Just make sure yours matches here. Now, there's one more thing you have to look at here. The encoder preset. Now, basically, the, to make this very simple, I don't understand it super, super well myself, so it's not like I'm talking down to you. I couldn't give you an amazing description of it, but basically it's a bunch of different settings and options and little things that, that uh, it, it control the quality. Now, the slower you set this, the farther to the right, the uh, basically the slower the encode is going to go, the more CPU time it's going to take. Now, it uses that CPU time to make the video look better at, at this point particular quality that you've picked here so this will result in less blocky video nicer quality at the same you know at the same quality or bit rate that you choose but uh like i said this is going to take a lot more cpu time especially if you go over here to you know slow slower very slow i just use very slow but yeah you want to like it says it, you you're going to want to set this as low as as slow as you can handle it now if it says that it's going to take like 
two or three days to do a whole bunch of videos, maybe you might not be able to deal with that. So you might want to drag this to the left a bit. I probably wouldn't go any lower than maybe medium. That depends on you. That depends on how many CPU cores you have. This is over here to the far right. It's placebo. That's probably too slow. It's literally it's literally telling you it's placebo, so don't bother. But uh, my system has eight, uh, 16 cores and 32 threads. But even for me, if I'm encoding a lot of videos in a folder, I just, I'll just let this run while I'm sleeping, basically. So yeah, enough rambling on. I think you kind of get the idea here. You want to leave everything else how it is. And what we don't want to just hit start and code. That's a mistake. If you just hit start and code, it's only going to select the first video in the folder, right? What you're going to want to do is you're going to click add to queue. And you're going to click this little arrow to the right of it, the little down arrow. Click that and click add all. Now what that's going to do is it's going to add all of the ones from the folder that you scanned when we did that earlier. So now if you click the Q, see those all the folders right there, right? Well, all the files rather. That's all of them, all the videos. So at this point, all you got to do is hit Start Q, and that's it. You just Start Q, you let it run. Maybe you know if it's if this is one or two or three videos, maybe <clears throat> excuse me. If this is one or two or three videos, maybe you just let this run while you're sleeping. If it's the whole folder of videos, maybe you might want to. Maybe you might want to go to sleep or <laughs> do this while you're at work or something. But yeah, like I said, do do one. Do one with the same settings here. You don't have to change anything. Just do one video. And then see how it turns out. You know, scroll through the video, watch it. See see how it, you know, see what the quality difference is. See what the size difference is. And then once you're happy with some settings, you can hit, uh, you can get all your settings to what you want. You can hit save new preset right here. And then you can name it and you can change the category it's in and... You know, you can, you can, dimensions, always use source. If you always want the dimensions of the video to be the same as they are, you can click custom if you want. Maybe you got a whole bunch of 1080p videos and you want to encode them down to 720p. Or maybe if you want to go to 4K to 1080p or whatever, you can do that here. We're going to click cancel because I've already done this. I've got one called YouTube compression. So yeah, so at this point you would just hit start queue. And that's it. You need wait and you see. Now I've already done this with a whole bunch of videos and I'm going to show you the results of that right now. Just with these settings, with the same settings that you saw here. Now, now keep in mind, for me, this took probably over 20 hours. <laughs> even with 16 cores and 32 threads, this is a 3950X processor. But even with that many, it still took a lot. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you why. So this is the original folder right here, right? This is... These are the Diablo videos. So if I just go here, you can see it down there. But let's just hit Properties. Now you see that right there? It's 81.2 gigabytes. That's why there are, there is 22 videos here, and these are some these are some chunky boys right here. Let me show you why. See, that's 45 minutes. This one right here is yeah, 50 minutes. So these are at or close to an hour. Some of these I think are just a little over an hour. That's only 20 minutes long. But yeah, so but once we're done with this, so like I said, that was 81. Point, let's see what did, what did it say? Wait, wait, wait. My memory is terrible. Hold on, wait. It was 81.2 gigabytes, I got it right. So now let's go to the folder that I set this to output to, which was the conversions folder. This is on a different drive. So what are these? And this is 45 gigabytes, see that? So almost half the size. So we saved almost 40 gigabytes. That's something, right? That's, that's a nice chunk of space to get back. And these, as far as you can, you can watch these and look at them. As far as I can tell, they're pretty much the same quality. Let's see. Let's let's open up 19. Keep in mind, these are older videos, so the quality is is, is worse. The camera quality is worse. I look worse. <laughs> well, you see here. Let's see. What is this? 55, 55, right here. So let's just look at that for a second. Say so that looks pretty decent, decent video. This is just me playing Diablo with Mint. These are all on the channel if you want to go see them. Okay, looks pretty good, right? Looks, you know, good video. So now if we come over here to 19, right there. And now if we go to okay, 55, to 55, the, uh... let's see. Let's get in there. Hold nope. on. This is close enough right here, right? So see, so now you can see this is what the compressed video looks like. Looks pretty good, I think. That's 54. There you go, 55, 55. Looks pretty good, right? Especially, it's it's good enough, I think, for archival purposes, really. Like, I could, I would upload this on the channel and have no problem with it. No problem at all. See, it looks pretty good. But do do, do a test comparison, you know, do, uh, do one video. Try my settings. 
you know, maybe if you if it's not saving enough space for you, maybe try slightly lower quality, see how it looks. But we can see what the bit rate is here. This is, see, just, just about 12,000 kilobits per second, about 12 megabits per second. That's what I record the videos in. And if we go on this one, we can see what the, what the quality is. It's about just hair, just a hair shy of 7,000 kilobits per second. Just a hair shy of 7 megabits per second. Okay, so, so like I said, the quality, the quality that you set at 20, it's going to use whatever bit rate it needs to to get the video to that quality. So it's, it's not, it's, it's, it's like having a fixed bit rate, but instead of, instead of getting, instead of setting the video to whatever quality will get you that bit rate, this sets the bit rate to whatever bit rate will get you that quality. You see what I mean? Yeah, so I use 20, but like I said, you can use another one. Try it out. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down there below. I'll leave a link to Handbrake, and go check that out. It's completely free. Very nice. Okay, so I hope that, I hope you found that useful. It's a little rambly. I'm not, I'm not very practiced at doing these. I do apologize for that. I, I haven't done a, one of these in a good while, but, you know, if I, if I come across something really interesting and really nice and i think that you guys might find it useful i want to do that so i'd like to maybe once or twice a month do a tutorial video if there's anything i do on the channel or in streams or anything else that you would like me to kind of try to ramble through an explanation for you in a video i will certainly do that but yeah i'm gonna head out guys there'll be some videos on your screen right now if you want to check one of those out if you want to see some gameplay videos you know instead of me just rambling over my desktop here by the way this is uh before we go, this is a program called uh, Wallpaper Engine. Yes, that's an actual desktop wallpaper. It's on Steam. It's really cheap. I'll put a link in the description. Okay, I'm going to head out, guys. We'll be back soon. More streams, more videos. Make sure to hit thumbs up and subscribe, guys. And until next time, have a good day, everybody.